Everything in Faith Online is done through events. Events are created in a calendar, and each event can have many or multiple different destinations. Some current destinations are YouTube, Facebook, phone line, meeting rooms, and in attendance tracking. To create an event, head over to the events page in your account and select create new event. Here you will be asked for an event name and you can select the date and time at which your event starts. Please note, when selecting a time, there is an AM and PM selector at the bottom. Please ensure you choose the right one in order to avoid any confusion. You will need to enter an event description. This description can be as long or as short as you want. You can also add in additional text benefits such as bold, italics, underline, put in hyperlinks or links, create listed items, and also change font options. Below the event description, you will find two separate settings. One of them is related to the event starting time, and the second one related to whether or not the event is private. The event starting time has two options, start at event time or start with signal. Selecting start at event time will mean that you can broadcast before the start time of your event, in this example, 2.30 p.m., and we will not restream or start your stream until exactly 2.30 p.m. Start with signal means that if you stream up to 15 minutes before the start time of your event, we will start the stream immediately. Each church chooses a different option, and this allows them to customize the experience for their congregation. If you want a more intimate feeling for your congregation, allowing them to join the live streams earlier, as if they are there attending in person and turning up early, select Start with Signal. If you want to ensure that you go live at a very specific time and you can coordinate your efforts and your actions and movements within the church according to that time, set Start at Event Time. The next option is for private events. By creating a private event, we remove it from being in the public view of both YouTube and the Faith Online platform. When creating a private event, there are limited destinations to ensure that only the correct people can view the event. Currently, private events are only supported for YouTube streaming and Faith Online streaming. Using the Faith Online public pages or the Faith Online embedded player, people can watch the live streams from private events by visiting the correct pages or the correct links. Facebook does not support private events, therefore we do not support private events streaming to Facebook. A great example of private events would be for weddings or funerals or other private family events. This way you can share a specific link with the family for them to log in and watch and nobody else from the general public will be able to see that stream. For most events, we suggest leaving them as a public event. This will enable restreaming to all of the various destinations and enable you to get the maximum number of viewers to your event. The next step in the event creation process will allow you to select the destinations for this event. You can enable or disable as many destinations as you wish for each event. When enabling the phone streaming option, 
you will be asked which phone menu option you wish to stream to. If you have not already created phone menu options, we suggest doing this before creating your event. While the event is live, it will be broadcast to that phone menu option, allowing people to dial in and hear the live audio. Once the event has been completed, we will take the recording of the event, extract the audio, and set that audio to be the destination for that phone menu option. This means that you never need to re-log in to add in the audio for any previous live streams to your phone menu options. Once an event has been created, you will be taken to the page to control that event. On here, you can see the general information about the event, the date and time, whether it's a private event, whether it's due to start with a signal, its description, and how you can also share the event. You can also edit the locations for an event by selecting Edit Locations, enabling another one, You can also manage the attendees for the event and view the event analytics after the event has finished. Each event has its own public page. You can share this page freely with your congregation through Facebook, WhatsApp, Telegram, your newsletter, your website, or any other way. This page will display all of the information about the event, such as the title, when it's due to start, and a description of the event. If you have an agenda for the event, feel free to enter it into the event description. Further down on the page, they will be able to watch the video on YouTube or Facebook if that has been activated. They can join the meeting if that was set as a destination. They can also see what the phone number and phone menu option is for that event and any other destinations. We will also play the live stream on this page directly. When you are live, the text here will be replaced with a video player showing the live stream. This means that your congregation don't necessarily need to use Facebook or YouTube and could in fact watch the live stream directly via Faith Online. Every organization has a public page on Faith Online. The public page will show all upcoming events on the Faith Online platform for your organization. You can freely share this page with your congregation, which will allow them to come through and filter different views to see which events are coming up when. The more events you pre-schedule in Faith Online, the easier it will be for them to plan their week and ensure that they are available to attend. Any additional information that you add into the organization profile will also be shown on this page. People do not need to log in or sign in to view this page, and they do not need to sign in to view any events. Simply by clicking on an event, members of your congregation can view all the details and information about that event, including how to attend, as well as for them to share the event themselves on various other platforms. Faith Online allows you to track the in-person attendance for your events happening in your buildings. To do that when creating a new event, ensure you select the in-person attendance as one of the destinations. When you have selected this option, you can set your capacity limit for that event. You can also set when registration closes, how far ahead of the event, and confirm the address for the event.
The in attendance destination is not exclusive and it can be added on to any event that you create. In order for people to register for the event, they must be given the link to the public page for that event. When a member of your congregation visits an event page that has in-person attendance selected as a destination, they will be able to register for the event. They will simply need to enter in their name, enter in a valid phone number, and provide their email address. They may also select the number of additional people who will be attending in their group. Additional people will be counted towards the total capacity of your church. If you have already received enough registrants to fill your capacity, people will be asked to join the waiting list with their additional people. If somebody has registered for an event, they will be shown under the Attendees tab for that specific event. Coming to the Attendees tab, you can see who has been invited, which you can do by email. You can see who has registered by filling in the form, including their contact details, how many attendees are in the group, who is on the waiting list, and who has been approved. You can also search for somebody by typing in their name or you can also invite somebody else or manually add them. All people will be defaulted to being interested in the event and it is up to you to either move them to the waiting list or approve them for the event. If you approve them for the event, they will be shown under the approved column and your total count will be reduced. Anybody who has been approved or moved to the waiting list will receive an email with information about their status. You can also alert everybody who has registered by sending them a message. And you can also download a report which will be emailed to you with everybody who attended. On the day, if you wish to check people in and out, you can simply open up the attendees tab, move over to approved, and then you can check somebody in. And when they have left, you can check them out again. This will register timestamps in the Faith Online system of who arrived when and when did they leave. This allows you to have full track and trace of the people who come and enter the church or the people who want to visit. You can also customize the email notifications that members of your congregation will receive. Here you can put in the text that you wish to send to them if they have been approved and text if they have been declined. Please note that these messages will apply to everybody and you can't customize these messages on a per person basis. If you wish to approve or disapprove a person and send them a custom message, we suggest sending them an email via their email address that they registered with or calling them up on the phone to explain why they have been approved or disapproved. To remove somebody from the approval list, simply click on the X icon next to their name and they will be completely removed from this event.